Jim knows that the average pregnancy lasts 268 days with a standard deviation of 15 days. A girl he once dated but hasn't seen in 330 days shows up at his door with a two-week-old child saying the baby is his. Jim thinks she is lying. Would this girl have to have carried for an unusual length of time for the child to be Jim's? Okay, so as soon as I see this phrase, unusual, I think, okay, they want us to figure out if her pregnancy length is unusual, so I should be thinking about z-score here. I also know that they give us the average, right? They tell us that information, and they tell us the standard deviation. So we have that information. That's great. It tells us that he hasn't seen the girl in 330 days, and she's with a two-week-old child. So be careful here. The first thing I want to point out is that you know, we're asking if her pregnancy length is unusual. So we need to know how long she would have been pregnant. And this is all under the scenario that it's true that it's Jim's child. So we have to say, okay, if Jim was in fact the father, he couldn't have possibly um, got this girl pregnant unless it was during the time that he had seen her last, right? So if you take the, the, you know, the scenario where it's the last day he saw her, that was 330 days ago, right? But the child's already two weeks old. So the child was actually born 14 days prior to this. So of course, we need to subtract from the 330, the 14 days, and then work with that number because her pregnancy then would have to have been for 316 days, right? So the pregnancy length in question here, the one we're dealing with, is actually going to be the 330 days minus the 14 days old the child already is, which means she would have had to carry the child for 316 days before giving birth. Because if she had become pregnant the last time she saw Jim and the child was born, you know, just two weeks ago, then that would have been a span of 316 days. So the question is, is that pregnancy length unusual? So we have to use the z-score formula to decide if that's unusual. So we're going to do x minus the mean over sigma and then plug in for x, the 316. Okay, so enter this value in for x, and then take the numbers from the problem to get the mean and the standard deviation. So 316 minus 268, which is the average length of pregnancies, divided by the standard deviation of 15 days. And from here, we'll see just how far um, from the mean that number is. So taking our calculator, we'll say 316 minus 268, uh, divided by 15. So this gives us a total of 3.2 standard deviations away from the mean. 3.2 standard deviations away. And when we look at our scale of what's unusual, we tend to think that 3.2 standard deviations is pretty unusual. That's pretty far above average. So we're going to say that, yes, this um, length of pregnancy is pretty unusual. Not impossible, of course, however, right? So we can't condemn the girl to being a liar just because of that, but we can say that um, the length is unusual and perhaps, you know, um, something like a paternity test would be in order, right? To just to make sure, but that seems like um, a pretty long time to carry a child based on the Z-score alone.